Hey everyone, it's Brian here. Today I'm coming on to do a video slash blog hop for Scrap Tales Crafts here on YouTube and online at scraptalescrafts.com. And today I'm going to be making another card that some of y'all may have seen me post on Facebook. For those of y'all who follow me on Facebook. But if you haven't followed me on Facebook yet, and even if you had, today I'm going to teach you how to make this pretty cool card. I don't even know what kind of card to call it even, to be honest. And I do not have a sample with me at the moment. But we're going to make it starting right now. First of all, you're going to want to cut a piece of white card stock down to 7 inches by 10 inches. So I'm just going to cut one inch off this end here, if it works that way. There we go. So we got our 7 inch by 10 inch card now. What we're going to want to do next is go ahead and score. We're going to score this like a typical Z fold card. We're going to score at two and a half inches. And again at five inches. And then we're going to fold down like we're making a regular fold. And fold that back like so. So we have typical Z fold card. Single Z fold card I should say. And now what I'm going to do is start doing manual layering. This is the man layering I'm going to use today. This is going to go underneath and this is going to go on top. So we're going to need to cut out a 5 by 7 inch piece of this cardstock here. For No, actually 4 and 3 quarters by 6 and 3 quarters, I should say. So we're going to cut that out now. 4 and 3 quarters. by seven and three quarters. I mean six and three quarters. And two pieces that measure, let's see here. What, oh. Why is that six and a quarter? Hmm. Oh, I know why. So we're going to cut these at six, uh, no, sorry, two and one quarter. By six and three quarters. You're going to need two sheets of this. Possibly. Two and a quarter again. By six and three quarters. And if you do need another piece, you won't need another whole sheet. In my opinion, because it's probably just going to be scraps you'll need. In fact, I'll show you how I'm going to do it. Well, let's see. That's not going to work. 
I'm just going to get another piece out in just a minute to work with for the rest of the card. Um, <clears throat> we're first going to go ahead and put this five by um, almost five by seven piece down. I think I'm going to turn on a light in just a second, another light, so we can see a little better. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and burnish that down. Then the next one, it will be one of the two and a quarter by six and three quarters. Peel that up real quick. Do this again. I'm going to get it right this time. Sure, that's gonna stay down, but pull it up some. Yeah, that should stay down. And now we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to cut everything another quarter of an inch smaller for our decorative cardstock. This is not staying, so I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to find some double side tape, since this does not want to stay.
In some ways this takes a little longer, in some ways it takes less time. But All right, so next we're going to go ahead and start cutting out the pattern paper. So the thing about this paper, it's not directional, so it doesn't really matter which way we cut it. So we're just going to cut it from this way, and we're going to cut down to two inches. Well, I'm just going to cut two and a half and then cut a half inch off of this bottom part. So that does look a little raggedy. Then we're going to cut down to six and a half inches. Then we're going to do that again. Two inches. By six and a half inches. And then again with four and a half inches by six and a half inches. So we're gonna start with the big piece, of course. Start laying that down. Trying to see if I can find a bigger roll of tape, which I don't see at the moment. So I hope y'all having a great week so far. If you made it to this point, please do leave a comment in the comment section down below what y'all are planning on doing this week for crafty stuff. And, you know, just tell me what you've been up to.
Got the one down. Now we gotta get two more down. Then comes the fun part. Then actually comes the fun fold part, actually. So next, we're going to go ahead and take the tape off this piece, if I can get it off, and then we'll put that down in just a moment. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this one down. And then burnish that down. Burnish that down. Then we're going to get ready to make our next part of the card, which is kind of mechanism but first we need to I just realized we need to make a couple more parts first so that's what we're going to do now so let's make sure that same kind of card sock yes it is gonna need to cut two squares that are two and a half inches square in one square, there's three inch square. So we're going to start with three inch square. Because it's, it's easy to do that first. And I'm going to cut the rest of this down two and a half. Then two and a half squared. And then we're going to layer that with the same pattern papers. Or we could do some different. Well, I don't think we're going to do something different because this is actually going to not be seen much. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and use this. Let's see here, two and three quarters. There we go. And we're going to do one square that is two and three quarters. Square. Oh, 
Well, we don't even need to do that, actually. We're just going to make squares out of white cardstock. So I'm going to need another piece of white cardstock here. You can just get a scrap piece if you want. That will be big enough to hold these. But I'm um, going to cut one down to two and three quarters like I did before. With the other pattern papers. Or whatever I was using. Two and three quarters for one. And then two at two and one quarter inch. So I'm gonna cut this down two and one quarters first. Two and a quarter. And two and a quarter. Let's see how wide this is here. Three inches by two and a half. Nope, not big enough. So we're gonna have to get another piece of this because I forgot about the mechanism. It's going to be three inches by four inches. And we're going to need to score this too. And we're going to go ahead and score this mechanism real quick before I forget. We're going to score it on the four inch side. We're going to score it one inch. Ooh, I'm going to have to redo that. I'm sorry. I really messed up. Okay. I swore down too deep. Apparently. Okay, so we're going to score at one inch, but not too deep. Two inches. And three inches. And then I'll show you what we're going to do next. In just a moment. But first, we gotta put these together. Um, I'm gonna try to use glue on this one. Put this down like so. Let me find my thing. And one more, two and a quarter to two and a half. I'm sorry, I was out of camera view all that time. And then the three inch down with the two and three quarter inch piece.
So all we're going to do now is we're going to stamp some images on all three of these, but we're going to do it like in a diamond shape. So we want these to be um, diagonal, basically diagonal squares. So I'm looking for. Let's see one thing real quick first. And please do read the in the instruct uh, instruction man in the description box below this video how you can win a Scrappy Tales gift card with this um, by following along in this hop. I love to see one of y'all that comments on this video to win. Love to see one of my subscribers win as well. So if you don't, hadn't done so yet, please do subscribe as well. Good things come when you subscribe to my channel, of course. I'm not going to color these in. Cause that'll just take too much time. So that's not what I'm planning on doing today is coloring in this video. Gonna get this in the center of the screen. And I'm gonna go ahead and start rubbing this in. like so and release and we have a perfectly stamped image so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and take this one off put it back onto the sheet I'm going to go ahead and clean this off. I'm going to get my next image for one of these two quarter inch squares. I think I'm going to use this bird here. Perch on flowering bloom. how this turns out I want to get in view There's we go. And put that back on the pack. And then we want to get a sentiment for the top. Top piece. It's going to go top most of the two pieces. Let's see. Heartfelt thanks. Hello spring. You are so kind. Bless this nest. You make everything better. Birthday wishes. Thank you. Birds of a feather flock together, thinking of you and with deepest sympathy. You got just about every single occasion covered in this stamp set, this one stamp set alone. And this, by the way, is called Spring Birds and Blooms from the Heartfelt Wings Collection. If you want to go check that out over at ScrappyTalesCrafts.com, that would be great. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a, let's see, birthday wishes I think will work. Let's 
We could always use a good birthday card. And there we go. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and start putting all these on. So I'm going to want to put, match these parts to the middle part of the default card. So we're only gluing the left side on, on these two pieces that are two and a half. So, I want to go ahead and do that now. So, I'm going to have to get some of this excess ink off of here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and tape up. Just one half here. And now I'll glue it down too. Actually, that is off big time. We have to take that all off pretty much. There we go. And I'll show you what I'm doing in just a moment. Probably won't use any more tape on this project. I'm gonna match this part here, down here, to the middle part of the Z fold, as well as this top part is gonna be matching up to the top of the Z fold and also the very top of the card. And now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Scraper and go ahead and burn shut down real well. And I know I'm ruining this card by doing like that. Because the birthday was just got smeared a lot. But it'll be alright. And as you can see, the bottom part here, this top part of the bottom square or diamond, whatever you want to call it. We'll meet up to this top, bottom part of this top piece, and we'll also meet up with the bottom of the card. That's what we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down some. Let's go and glue this down. There we go. And it is down. As you can see, this will look like on the other side. And speaking of the other side, we're almost done with this project, I promise. Next, we're gonna go ahead and grab our ruler. We're gonna make a little tick mark over here on this fold in the middle of the card. 
the five inch fold, I mean five inch score line. You're gonna make little tick marks at two inches and five inches. Now I'll show you why in just a moment. Two inches and five inches. And we're doing that because that's where this card's gonna go. I mean this piece is. And we're also going to want to mark this at one half inches on this piece. So we want to know where exactly to put the halfway point of that diamond. So we're going to mark that right there. We're going to go ahead and burnish down all these score lines here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just simply glue down on either side of this 5 inch score line. And we're also going to meet up right at those two marks that we made. And we are almost done with this card, y'all. This is taking almost as long as on one of my live streams. And now let's open that up like so. As you can see, that's how the mechanism is going to open up. And now what we want to do is go ahead and find our three inch piece here. I'm actually going to go ahead and make another mark up here. Because I didn't think that I was going to need it up there. So I'm going to go ahead and make that mark. Wait. Well, yeah, I'm going to need it up there, I think. One and a half inches. There we go. But first thing we want to do is turn this upside down. Have it up against that mark. The one and a half inch mark. And what we're going to do is we're going to snip a little bit off of here. And I'm going to get my feisty cutting scissors here. I'm going to just snip, snip a little more off. Like that. In fact, I might do just a little tiny bit more. There we go. And now we're going to go ahead and glue. Let's see here. I think we're just going to glue this part here. Going to do like this. There we go, almost completely done. And as you can see, I probably should not have done that because <laughs> most of it's hiding, but you just open it up and that pops out or pops in more, whichever you want to call it. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so yet, please do give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so yet either, please do subscribe and ring that bell for all notifications. And I'll see y'all again real soon. Bye.